wearing all of these clothes. This this might be against the law if they were here. <laughs> this bear is massive. He's way bigger than Vicks. Here he comes. <laughs> I'm in real trouble. Yeah. That's what we're holding off for. That's tough. Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, well, we're heading north to Saskatchewan. Well, actually, a new outfitter, Z and I, um, had met, you know, Armando set us up to go with Claude, and Claude owns Western Trophy Outfitters in Saskatchewan. Right, and you guys are up there bearing down. We were bear bearing down with a lot of great people in camp, mm -hmm. ice, but but I'm gonna tell you, this, this was a very exceptional, he not only knows his animals and his area, but he's got a phenomenal camp. Well, and you had sent me a trail camera photo. Oh, of my a huge gosh. no brainer bear that I know, but we we'll double wait. no brainer. Okay, but we don't want to go into that. We'll just wait. Okay. Okay, we'll just wait. This week's lucky logo is Rocky. Get rockified with Rocky gear. Rockified. If you happen to see the Rocky logo, you need. We'll let's know what to do at the end of the show with that. Yes, for sure. So, well, lots of bear chasing, lots of things going on. The rut Busy. was just starting to kick in, yep. and I mean, you know, you've got to. We Makes were strategically harder, setting okay. it up. You know, watch where the sows were and moving with the boars and well, wait till you see this no-brainer. There were delays in O'Hare. Then from O'Hare to Calgary, it was a rough ride. We turned around, got to Calgary, and there were absolutely no luggage for me. Z had his, but I didn't have mine. Then we turned around, we flew from Calgary to Saskatoon, and we met everybody, and we're rocking. But guess what? Sorry. They still don't know where my luggage is. And just so you know where my luggage is, it's, it's all my clothes and my Hoyt. So you talk about hitting them where it Hoyts, they just did. We all get in the camp and you know, everyone's there and Colorado Buck and Armando, and we know we're gonna have a good time. We get our tags and and then all of a sudden, dinner comes out. And we start to realize if we eat like this for this whole trip, they're gonna have to bring up the rating in the stands. My Hoyt carbon element is sitting somewhere at O'Hare. I hope they didn't put it on eBay. You know, all the guys have been doing their best and hopefully tonight by around midnight, maybe we should have the equipment. Well, Z has his element here and it's, at, it's a lefty. I'm a righty. You definitely feel the difference <laughs> going lefty, I'll tell you. Dead bear. I'm wearing all of Z's clothes. I'm shooting his left hand element. And you know what? We're gonna make this happen. Well, what we're doing now is actually we're looking at the, the these you pulled these yesterday? Yeah, last night. The reason the success is here, because you guys are running the cameras, you're seeing what's active and what's not, and that's the simple fact of the matter. All right, so Claude starts showing us all these trail cam pictures, and we're going through them, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, mm-hmm. That is an absolute double no-brainer bear. This bear is massive. And I know for a fact that, well, once I see him and I know he's working the area, he's way bigger than Vic, so I'm, I'm, I know I'm gonna hold off. I'm putting the release on the wrong hand, why? Bear down, baby. <laughs> Lefty. We come to hunting camp, you know, yeah, we're here to harvest an animal, but we're also here to have a good time, and, and this is the type of camp where you can get a bunch of guys together, the camaraderie and the family atmosphere, and just for gathering, it, it's fantastic. Everybody had a great time. You're in the heart of bear country, up here in Saskatchewan, with Western Trophy Outfitters. And I'm gonna tell you, we weren't even in the state, we were just settled in. Claude was still out here getting everything ready, and one bear started circling. I believe it was a 
this out. We had another bear circle straight out this way, but we never, it never came in. Here he comes. I'm wearing all of these clothes. I'm shooting his left hand element. <laughs> Going into that latter part of May, early June, and on in June, right. is you are you are getting in the prime rut of the bears. Right, and where the boars are going to be following the sows, almost like whitetail hunting, it's the same situation. The bucks are chasing the does up there when you're bear hunting up in the north. Yep. They're doing the same thing. The and the big thing the is, is if you have a bait that has a sow on it, I'm telling you right now, concentrate on it. Because she's when she's done feeding, she's going to go out, she's going to put her scent out, Yep. That big guy's gonna follow her right back in when it's that time period to start eating again. So stay on those baits with the sows at that given time of year because, well, you never know what might walk into your sight. First night we're sitting there, we got bears all around us. And I mean, no sign of that big guy. So, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna hold off and we know back at camp, Janelle's probably kicking out another giant meal that, well, we better hope our hunter safety systems hold us after this trip. Late last night while Z and I were in the stand and I had Z's bow, which was left-handed, we got a text. Text was, <laughs> my, my gear was in. So it was unbelievable, I was excited. Now I gotta shoot my bow, my right-handed Hoyt element. Not, my, not, not Z's left hand, but my right hand. So what happens in hunting camp? Right. So it's going to be the same for us in the tent. I felt like there's one in the tent. I'm in real trouble. <laughs> We got pictures last night of this, the big guy, and he moved, it wasn't but maybe two miles. Right, but he's chasing flies. a sow that's in heat. Yes, so we have to set up on him at this, hoping that maybe she feels more secure over there, she'll bring him in.
had my sights set on that monster. Now it's up to me to get a bear in the next three days. You know, chasing the, the trail camera photos, we're knowing this bear's in the area, we're trying to pinpoint them. You know, we're in a good spot and we, we know the big, big guys around here somewhere and those bears were coming out. We don't know if they were winding us. The wind was good, but maybe in that cut it was swirling a little bit, but we're holding off. We got pictures of a monster. What a great hunt. And I think we found our new home in Saskatchewan. The crazy thing is, is little Janelle, she wanted it perfect. She cooked, she had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I am gonna tell you what, a five-star restaurant can't hold a candle to what she, she does up in that camp. She made fresh bread to go with all our meals. She made amazing pies. And her chocolate chip cookies never had a chance. This, this might be against the law, the food here. I mean, it might be. That's what I'm holding off for. Yeah, I know. Been working on that guy pretty much all week. Yep. That's what we're holding off for. That's hunting, I guess. Oh, yeah. Right? That's the way it goes. <laughs> no regrets, none. <laughs> well, as luck would have it, you know, just a few more nights, and I, I had my sights set on that monster just because I knew Vicky wouldn't shoot one bigger. <laughs> but hey, well, I had to leave, but we were able to, to, to manipulate the schedule a little bit and, and Z ended up staying a few more days and well, I, I still, it was a successful trip just because, man, we, we knew we were hunting a monster. Poor Clayton, he's never had his hands on a professional camera and when Ralph left camp, he became my cameraman and him and I are going on. It's just Janelle, Clayton and I, and a camp that was so full of life yesterday is dead silent today. Now it's up to me to get a bear in the next three days so we don't go home empty handed. Clayton and I hunted the next two evenings. We saw a lot of bears, but we had no opportunities at a good boar. The third and the last day of my trip, we woke to the sound of rain. But as soon as that rain was over, we're gonna be sitting in that tree waiting on those boars to come in. We were late getting in here. The rain stopped about two o'clock. We came in here, baited and set up. We've already got two bears on the bait. Hopefully tonight's the night. Hopefully one of these sows brings in the big guy and uh, we go home lucky. So far it's been a tough hunt. Okay, we haven't got a glimpse of the big guy yet. So. down to 20 minutes of my last day to hunt. This could be the chance that we've been waiting for all week. I think we have two bears chasing each other, one chasing another bear over here. Clayton and I hear the bears running through the woods. I grab my bow because I'm hoping it's one of those good boars that we've been waiting on. When they show up, it's just a pair of younger bears We've probably already seen them before. One was rubbed. We let them walk right in. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
I'm down to 20 minutes of my hunt. It's the last day just before dark. The two bears on the bait get up and take off and we see a great chocolate door following that sow right into the bait. This could be the chance that we've been waiting for all week. He came in and sat down at the bait and just started eating. After five minutes, we're running out of daylight, so Clayton and I started whistling to get him up. When he did get up, he started walking directly away from us. As he walked away, I thought I'd lost my only chance for the whole trip. We have sat here all night long. He came in and he sat down and we're running out of light. It may be a little dark, but he finally got up, walked and came back through. <laughs> That's tough. Oh. We had one come in a little bit earlier. He was rubbed on both sides. And just as we were about to give up for this whole trip, in walks this chocolate with a sow. <laughs> I'm shaking like a leaf. We're going to give him about 15, 20 minutes, get packed up, and uh, have a good feeling. About <laughs> that was awesome. After the great week we'd had in camp, to get a chance at my first chocolate bear in the last 10 minutes of my hunt was a perfect ending to an awesome trip. I made my shot, and Clayton got it all on camera. Oh, look at this bear. Look at this guy. I'd given up. I thought, well, it's just not my night to kill. I look over the hill and this guy is following that sow and he followed her right into the bait, came right in. I sure wasn't going to let this guy just sit there and eat until it got too dark to get down. So we whistled, made a little bit of noise and got him nervous. He got up and walked around. And when he came back to the sow, he gave us the shot that we needed. And uh, I was lucky enough to take it. And we got this great chocolate. He's got, a, he's got his ears cut. He's been fighting a little bit. Uh, I hope he passed his jeans on because he's a beautiful bear. I've watched a lot of chocolates. I filmed a lot of chocolates, but this is really a, really a special bear. Zeke, congratulations, buddy. Absolutely. You know, beautiful bear. And I'm going to tell you, I have no regrets, and I actually had such a great time hunting that monster. Trying to figure them out. Oh, my gosh. But to go anywhere, mm -hmm. anywhere at all. Right. And to, to, to be on a bear that size and that caliber, that's, that's saying something. It and is. you could bet your butt that we're going to be back there next spring. Well, that's good. Yes. Are you going to yeah. go? Well, yeah, I'm going to go get that bear. You know, it's be just like me to go and do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> this week's Lucky Logo is Rocky. Get if you happen to, to see it, you need to log on to archerschoice.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, and someone's going to win some great gear from Rocky as well as our other manufacturers. Next week, we're yes. heading south, south to Kentucky. That's right, to Deer Haven. With Brett. And I'm going to tell you, we found a little honey hole because we're, we're hunting bucks in velvet. In velvet, it's pretty cool. By Down the in tag, Kentucky. Over the counter, mm -hmm. very inexpensive. Okay, but Wait. how about this week? I want to yes. thank them. Thanks for watching this week's show. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here. On the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Very good. You know, I think what the problem was. Yeah, I know what the problem was. It was the girls. the girls. Because the sows yeah. wrecked that time of year for hunting. Because the boars always follow the sows. Right, like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey.